All right, hi everybody. This is Chris Golick from Famous Poker Series Goliath. We're here with, uh, we can certainly say, uh, poker royalty in the house. This is a famous spotlight with Tom McAvoy. 1983 main event champion for the World Series of Poker. He's in the Hall of Fame. Helped thousands and thousands, even hundreds, hundreds of thousands of players with all the books he's written. So, Tom, uh, thanks for being with us. It's really good to be here, and I'm very, very impressed with the uh, attendance you're getting here and, and the turnout. There's so much competition going on with the World Series and all these tourists around town, and you are more than holding your own, and uh, I've been getting favorable reports on management <laughs> throughout. <laughs> so, but I guess two questions. We're going to hit these one at a time. Let's go back to about 1985, 1990 or so. Okay. St- uh, an aspiring professional poker player, someone who looks to be a professional poker player, comes to you. What advice would you give them back in about the 1985 to 1990 era? What would you recommend then? And, yes, the next question is what are we going to do now? So we're going to divide these answers up. Actually, it's almost the same answer. Okay. All right. The first thing I would say is don't quit your day job. In other words, you have to have enough money to not just uh, – play in bake roll, but you have no money to live on for at least a year, probably two years, and that's assuming you're a winning player. Most players don't really know if they're a winning player or not because they're guesstimating. They're not keeping accurate records. There's been a lot you know, discussed and uh, written about bankroll management, but some of it is just simply common sense, but everybody thinks they're like the best player and they got the biggest ego. You know, they, they they win for a while there, and they think they're bulletproof, especially the the younger players. Uh, Tom McAvoy does do training sessions, classes. You can see the information right on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, contact him directly. We'll get you set up, and uh, he can help make you a world champion as well. Okay, so I, I guess the last question then, I mean, maybe you already answered it, but what's your next accomplishment? What do you hope to accomplish in poker tomorrow? I like to win the Super Seniors. That's next weekend. There you go. But um, actually, I just want to be happy. I, I just want to feel like I can play when I want to play. And if I don't feel like playing, I don't have to play. And uh, um, I don't like to feel like I'm under a lot of pressure that I got to like bring home the bacon. I got to go out and make that <laughs> that extra money or my lifestyle will suffer yeah. yeah so i don't i don't i don't need all that pressure anymore i could handle it pretty good when i was younger now i'm older ah. you know some of that competitive drive um is kind of not so strong anymore okay so when i was your age i would just want to kick everybody's butt you know, <laughs> <laughs> so last question what drives you to play poker right now right now i still enjoy the game heck you know, there's a social aspect to it. All right, Tom, thank you so much for the time. It's been an honor to have you here. Uh, remember, guys, give us a follow on Facebook, Planet Hollywood Poker. Give us a follow on Twitter at PH underscore poker. Thanks, everybody.